the easiest way to resolve a motherfucking piece of shit born loser who makes false claims about growing up in the same neighborhood is just say like this this is what this is what I this is what I say hey dude your statements your statements you said I got ran up out of the hood that's interesting because I really just went to college in fact I left without telling anyone that I was leaving it wasn't anything pressing it wasn't anything pending I just fucking left dude and I didn't tell anyone that I was leaving other than some close friends. So you apparently weren't a close friend. Oh yeah, because you were smoking dope. That's right. I forgot. You were high on a... Well, I didn't really forget. But you're a bum and you were on fucking dope. You were on that meth pipe and that crack pipe and sniffing that powder. That is cocaine. Yeah, you're a fucking bum. You're a born loser. Here's you 25 years later telling people that I got ran up out the hood. You're a bum in the hood. I went to college, you're a fucking bum. I went to college, got a real job, probably made 10 to 20 times more than what you fucking made last year, and you're a fucking bum on this planet. You see the difference? You're a fucking vagrant. Do do you understand? No, you don't understand. You don't understand. Of course, you wouldn't understand. Because you have no class, you're a bum, you're a born fucking loser. You have no manners, you have no respect, you're not G, you never were, you never were. You're a mismanager of money and your own life, so you're a mismanager of life's affairs because you're a fucking bum. I know your whole track record, you're a fucking bum. You have no clout, you're you're a scumbag. You, you have no strength, you're not really strong. I don't remember seeing you beat any fucking buddy up when we were kids or young adults. And I know you didn't because you're so fucking junky, you forgot I grew up with you. You're a fucking junkie and you're a bum. You never beat any fucking buddy up in the city. The city that I come from, I never got beat up in the city that I come from. You didn't beat any fucking buddy up in the city that I come from, and that you come from, yeah, and you know what else, you know that little gun that you used to tuck in your waistband, you got that from my fucking gang, your Rudy Poot fucking wannabe set, we let you operate on our fucking turf, and you fumbled the motherfucking ball, because you're a bum, you're a fucking junkie, now you probably don't remember but you've been a dope head for about a quarter of a century. Yeah, it's about a quarter of a... That's a quarter of a hundred years. Yeah! Yeah, that's right, bum. Yeah, you're a dope fiend. That means you're a drug addict. You've been on fucking drugs for a quarter of a century. You didn't fucking beat anybody's ass in the city that I come from and that you come from. Now, what did happen, the Mexicans ran up on you with an AK-47. I remember when that happened. And the gang remembers when that happened. And I remember a bunch of other shit that happened to you too. You're not fucking hard. You never were. In fact, you were a little basketball player in the neighborhood. You were a little scrawny fucking bird peck motherfucker. Little bird pecks playing fucking basketball. Drinking booze out on the court. When L.A. gangs rolled through. And you didn't know jack shit about motherfucking gangs. And you're not fucking G. And you don't tell me anything about motherfucking gang lit. I lived in Chicago. And you don't know any motherfucking thing about gang history. Because you're not a gangster. You're a motherfucking dope head. You're a drug abuser, drug addict, dope fucking fiend. And when you wanted to get put on to a gang, the gangs gave you an opportunity to make fucking money. And you failed. You know why? Because you're a bum and a born fucking loser. You talk about how tough you are. Hey man, you want to go in the ring? Sanction fucking fight? I'll knock you out in less than 60 seconds. You're a fucking dope fiend. You're a joke. And you always motherfucking were. My gang gave you that fucking gun. 
and we let you operate on our fucking territory, boy. You were never fucking solid in the game. And everybody fucking knew it. And the cat that you were rolling with who passed away, little man, that's my fucking homie. Yeah, that was my homie. And you're not even from the same fucking set, motherfucker. No, you're not. And you were rolling with my dude. And you thought you were so fucking hard. And my dude told you to shut the fuck up that night, bitch. You don't even fucking remember. You didn't swing on anybody. You didn't throw a single fucking punch. Only thing you did was you had a bottle of beer in your hand. And you smashed it on the ground. And it cut your fucking hand. And you didn't do shit, motherfucker. And the police came. You didn't fight anybody. You didn't You didn't fight anybody. You didn't punch anybody. And you were a scared bitch growing up in the neighborhood, motherfucker. Yeah, you can pretend because it's been 25 years that you've been on fucking dope, junkie boy. You can pretend like you did all this shit that you never motherfucking did. You delusional motherfucking junk smoker. Fucking trash smoker. You fucking trash. You're not hard, dude. You never motherfucking were. Ever. All of your shit is phony, dude. You're a fucking fraud. You put on a blue bandana that you bought at Virginia Market, motherfucker. And I remember when you did that shit. I remember when you bought your first blue bandana, motherfucker. Yeah, and I remember when you joined up with the Crip set. And then you try to get put on with L.A. You try to get put on with L.A. And guess what happened? The bag, you smoked it up. You ran off with the plug. And your homeboy, yeah, your homeboy tried to rob the plug. Yeah, remember what happened to your homeboy? Remember when they took him out, bro, out to the Outlands? Remember that shit, motherfucker? What's up, dude? You want to keep going? Yeah, I know your homie that you were rolling with at the time. He got convicted on the vehicular homicide and the detectives, they never charge you with that shit. But you know you should have been charged with that shit, nigga. You want to keep going, bitch? You were never motherfucking G. You were never fucking hard, dog. Ever. You're a fucking dope fiend. You talk shit about me? Hey, let's just solve the problem like this. Every statement that you made, put it on your daughter, bro. Yeah, every motherfucking false statement that came out of your mouth that you fucking typed, that you wrote, put it on your daughter, bro. If you're so sure that that's the way that it went down, that I got ran up out of the hood, and you know you're psychotic for saying that shit about me, motherfucker. Yeah, just because I'm thousands of miles away, you know you're motherfucking a lunatic for saying that shit. You know you're a motherfucking stooge. You know you're a motherfucking clown. Yeah. If it's true that I got ran up out of the hood, put it on your fucking daughter. Put that shit on your daughter and your motherfucking family, bitch. Yeah, put that shit on your daughter and your family and then say it so. I never got ran up out of the hood. I lived in eastern Washington, motherfucking Wenatchee. And I went to college when I got a scholarship, bitch nigga. Yeah, and I was kicking it with Nene, you fucking Jake. I was at Nene's house almost every single day for two years. And he didn't even know that I was hopping on an Amtrak to Chicago. Motherfucker. And I called him. And I was like, yo, what's up, G? Yeah, I'm in the Midwest. He's like, what? I'm like, yeah, I'm in Chi-Town, homie. He's like, why didn't you tell anyone you was leaving? Yeah, and I was still rapping with him. And all the homies. But you know what? You ain't a homie. You're a buster, and you always fucking have been. You know all that shit you act hard about, and you talk hard about? You didn't do any of it. I remember when your appendix exploded. I remember when the Mexicans ran up on you. And the only reason you fucking survived was because you ran up on someone's porch, and they sprayed that shit with an AK, bitch. You're lucky to be motherfucking goddamn alive right now. How many teeth you got left, bum? Huh? How many teeth you got left, you fucking bum? That's why you rarely show your shit on social media, you fucking dirtbag, you fucking scumbag. You ain't tough, boy. You never fucking were. Talking all that crip shit, all that other shit, you ain't G, dude. 
You wouldn't even last in Chicago, motherfucker. You act like you know some type of shit using gang lingo and different phrases and shit that you're not associated with. That ain't you. And I know who the fuck you are. And I know your whole goddamn family, motherfucker. You're a fucking daydreamer telling people I got ran up the, out the hood and you know I motherfucking didn't. Yeah. I remember when I met you in the alley with Big D. Nigga, we came up on you, pulled up with the 4-5 with the infrared fucking beam. You was buying work from us and my team, motherfucker. I used to let you come over to 23rd Street, you faulty bitch. And I remember when Dave pulled up on yo bitch, your baby's mom's, nigga. Fucking punk. Put that shit you said on the internet on your daughter, nigga, and your mom and dad. I know you won't, nigga. You know why? Because you're a fucking faulty nigga who's been in fucking violation. You've never been fucking G. You don't even pass the sniff test. Oh, yeah, sniff test? You sniff dope, but you ain't G.